Oh, oh good. Wonderful. Beautiful. Oh, stretches. Good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. These girls are like, guys, we didn't get morning snuggles because, well, they did from us, but oh, Dan's gone. Dan and Crystal left. I took them to the airport yesterday, so they are both back at home. And the house is eerily quiet after it hasn't been very quiet for the past two weeks. <laughs> so yeah, Dan was here for two weeks and then Crystal showed up Thursday and she stayed for five days and they went back home yesterday. It was so nice to see them. It was so great that they were able to come out here and do this because like normally we see them every year for VidCon and there's no VidCon this year. So it was nice. It sucks that we're still gonna miss all of our other friends from VidCon, but hopefully next year VidCon will return Apparently Vid Summit got canceled as well. I'm still trying to find out more information for it though because like it's not updated on their website so I don't know if it was canceled or what's going on but I'm trying to find out more about that today as well. And in other news, we have a massive storm coming straight for us. Apparently there's gonna be great big huge waves up on Lake Superior. There's supposed to be huge waves here. According to what I just read, it should be here within the next hour and a half. So I'm gonna go out and get Jamie and I some lunch, check out the lake real quick and then get my butt back home and we'll see if we can film a storm later. Oh, and also, I know you haven't seen them in a while, but um, my brother called me today and told me that Danielle started having contractions. If you guys didn't know, which most of you know, they're having another baby. And she was due to have a C-section on like June 23rd, I think it was. And it's June 10th the day I'm filming this, so that's a thing. Doesn't necessarily mean the baby's coming, but the baby could be coming anytime now. So you guys can see those really dark clouds over there. That's what's coming for us. And I don't know if you can see how big these waves actually are on the lake, but uh, this is, they were saying we could get 10 foot waves on the lake. So we might have to come back out later and see, but this is gonna be pretty crazy. Hi seagull friend. Well, the warning showed up for the counties below us. It's coming, it's heading straight for us. So you can see where the Jeep at, this is coming straight towards us. So I just grabbed lunch for Jamie and I at the deli, talked to my brother a little bit. No updates on whether or not they're going to head to the hospital just yet. So we're going to watch this storm roll in. I'm going to head home before it starts raining. Well, we got a little bit of wind and a little bit of rain. So far, that's it. Not even hard rain, just light rain. We'll see what happens. I don't know if you guys can hear the rumble. Jamie and I just saw a big flash of lightning. Not even raining hard. Is this the calm before the storm? <laughs> Think we're gonna get it? Seems like it's going south of us. I mean, yeah. it's pretty windy and I saw lightning and I hear thunder. So. I, I went out there and tried to record the thunder. I got nothing. Yeah, I was gonna say, but one inch hail, I don't know. Hope not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want to go storm chasing? Mm, not yet. Let's see. Aren't you waiting for a phone niece call? Or, a niece or nephew to John Carl just called me and said they're gonna wait. They're waiting. Mm. So as of right now, we're still playing the waiting game. No baby yet. <laughs> no baby yet. The girls just went outside. We had to run them out there so they could go to the bathroom before the rain started. So we're still just waiting on the storm. Doesn't look like anything's happening quite yet. Okay, well, we waited and waited and waited and nothing happened. It, it, it rained, but we didn't get any massive storm. I heard there was a little bit of flooding down by Lake Huron downtown, but uh, other than that, we had some rain, turned everything really green again, but we didn't really get hit with that storm. I did hear that there were some places downstate that actually got hit with tornadoes though, so maybe I'm glad we didn't get hit with that storm. But it passed us by, so I'm gonna go downtown and see if I can see where anybody said there was a bunch of water down there, but I'm sure it's probably all gone by now. Well, they weren't wrong. Look at, so last night the water was all the way up here. And now it's pretty much, uh, it's all over here. This is all flooded. There's a truck driving through it. They have the road blocked off, but uh, nobody seems to care. Yeah, you can definitely tell it's um, it's just slightly flooded that way. That's so crazy. This kid's gonna take opportunity to go fishing. <laughs> 
So I drove by this right before I went to the deli and there was no water here and now it's full of water again. So crazy. Yeah, so this is that bathtub effect we were talking about. I parked my car over there. Hopefully I'll be able to get back to it without getting my feet wet. There's kids playing in the water. <laughs> this is all flooded over here. It's flooded way over that way as well. It's so crazy. The water's so high. We're gonna walk over here and check it out. I made it past the part where it was flooded over the sidewalk. Now you can see. Seriously, I came and checked this before I went to the deli. And it's, it's completely flooded now. That's so wild. I gotta get some cool pictures because this is, this is just wild. There you go, now you can kind of get an idea of how flooded it is. It's pretty crazy. They got the road blocked off, but nobody listens. I listened this time. I didn't drive back here. <laughs> Woo, we're gonna get wet. Hey, no wakes, man. No wakes. Yeah, that's just crazy. And then even up there, it's flooded. It's a gorgeous day today, though. Well, when I got out of my car, I could walk here, but uh, I just got soaked. <laughs> well, I guess apparently it wasn't just the storm that brought in all that water because it's filling back in right now. So I'm going to leave and go home. And it's the next day already. And I forgot to say goodnight. So pretty much we watched for rain all day and then we went and saw some flooding and that was about it. <laughs> Uh, Memphis is in here hanging out with me. Kira's already outside for the morning. She loves her mornings outside. But we're going to go ahead and call it a night here. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. We will see you again tomorrow. Goodbye, guys. If you love our huskies, come along for the ride. All you have to do is hit subscribe. Follow as we share our lives with our dogs and join our adventures on Snow Dog Vlogs.